Hello, this is about Cressida Dick. I don't know if you know who Cressida Dick is. Um, I do, oddly. Uh, and I've sort of followed her career for some time also. I think I was at university with her. Now, she has pleaded uh, yesterday, I think, for a watered-down report by Sue Gray. This is the lady, the civil servant, senior civil servant, who's conducting the inquiry into Partygate who's finding out whether or not Boris has had too many parties, or even any parties. Did he know about these parties? And if he didn't, who was having these parties at his expense in his house? Now, um, I don't really understand this Met investigation. The evidence, surely, about Partygate has been around for uh, over a year, especially as there are police standing outside number 10. I remember they literally used to stand outside number 10 and then Mrs. Thatcher moved the gate to the end of the street. So at least they're now monitoring the gates. I, I, has Cressida Dick gone native? Um, is she pandering to some sort of political objective to delay this, um, this report? Is, is she part of a magnificent sh uh, slowdown or cover up uh, that will allow Boris to stride the world stage and actually do what he does best, um, play the showman. You know, it's time we had uh, a politician in this country, or rather out of this country, playing the showman on the world stage. We haven't had that for a long time. Uh, and particularly, you know, to his advantage, when all hell uh, is potentially to be unleashed uh, because of Partygate and Sue Gray's uh, report. So who is Cressida Dick? I, I remember uh, there was a game during uh, my time when I was on The Circle, this uh, strange television programme, uh, and it was called um, the, the Dick Game or something. I, the, the purpose of the game was eventually to um, give us access to Richard Maidley, who I, I never thought of Richard Maidley as, uh, as a dick. I thought of him, I, I, I've always thought he was a Richard. Um, and, uh, and it started off with, with a story about, um, with, with, with a photograph of Dick Van Dyke, and then suddenly there was Cressida Dick, and I think the person who was asked, who is this, could not name her, which is a bit sad. It's a sort of reflection on, on, um, on Cressida Dick's ability to command the headlines that, um, uh, the, 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 when presented with a photograph of her, uh, people cannot actually say who she is, but there we are. She's a commissioner for the Metropolitan Police. This is the first police force set up in London in the beginning of the uh, 19th century. Um, and uh, it, it has such a, such, such powerful resonance. You know, it started off with, I think, a thousand officers, and within a few years, um, it was commanding uh, a, a, a troop of 13,000 officers, I think. Um, so it grew significantly. Um, and then people like uh, um, Arthur Conan Doyle had to invent rather stupid policemen so that um, people like Sherlock Holmes could play against them. But before the Metropolitan Police had, um, had arrived, all we had were private detectives that you could commission. Um, but Cresta Dick, as I say, who is she? Um, how does she keep her job? Because she's been connected to so many scandals. Uh, 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 of course, there's a Jean-Charles de, Menen, uh, de Menenzes story, you know, that innocent man who was killed on the way into the London Tube. He was shot. There's the Daniel uh, Morgan inquiry. There's Carl Beach. Um, there's a shutdown of London by Extinction Rebellion. Um, you know, with the Daniel Morgan inquiry, I think she was actually told. I, I think she was actually found um, she, she was cited as being obstructive and delaying the investigation. Uh, Daniel Morgan was uh, the fellow who was murdered in a pub car park. Um, uh, Far Faris Matu, uh, the young boy of 14. Well, a actually, the whole, um, the, the whole of last year, she says, or she, she's on record as saying that um, teenage um, knifings are her number one priority, and yet last year, I think there were 30 in London. This is outrageous. And as I say, she was one of my contemporaries in Oxford, but I knew nothing about her then, and 
I cannot fathom how she keeps her job now or what I know about her now. Uh, and, and there are so many dark events that have taken place during her watch. And here we have this investigation which silences or suppresses or delays the Sue Gray report. I, I just find it suspicious, I find it worrying, and I, I, pardon me, I just, I, 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 I just feel the fingers of political motivation behind it. Um, I find it very, very, very worrying. I, I'd love to know uh, your view on it. Uh, I, I'd love to know if, if, if you share my concerns. Maybe you don't. Maybe you think I'm... Uh, maybe you think the, the Met investigation heaps on more um, pressure for Boris. I think quite the opposite. Um, and it, uh, it, it, it seems to me to be part of a delaying process. But please, do follow the channel. Do ring the bell. Do, me, do let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to hear your point of view. Um, and, um, yeah, as we were in the circle, let's all play this dick game. Who is Cresta Dick? What do we know about her? How does she survive in her job?